Greetings and welcome to the RC Wallet Vacuum Channel. Today's video is just going to be a quick test to find out which colors that I'm going to be putting on the Vecta body will, will go, go on first. Uh, I'm using the Proline fluorescent paints, and specifically I got a fluorescent red, a fluorescent green, and a fluorescent purple. Uh, the plan was I was going to put the, the fluorescent, fluorescent green or red down first for some striping, and then uh, surrounding the rest of it with the green and then the purple is just going to go on in a separate section so it really ain't too relevant but I also wanted to be able to see if I could back the whole thing up with fluorescent purple. So I'm doing this in a video in hopes that what I learn and what I demo here can be useful for, for someone else that's looking for this info since I know for me trying to figure out which which was to put down first was kind of a mystery. You know I assume dark goes down first but you know who knows. But for those of them like me who don't know, let's find out. So first off this green, I have to go through and probably darken that a little bit before I try testing that. Uh, that's from the back side, and that's from the front side. Now this is the purple, this is also from the front side, and that's from the back side. I tell you, I like it when it's just that light shading type purple more so than the darker purple. Now this is the fluorescent red, supposedly red, it looks orange, but that's from facing the paint and then that's from the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, spraying over top of these colors to see what, what happens. Uh, you know, certainly a couple things to note is, number one, I need practice on an airbrush. Although I'm slowly getting it. Number two, I got to correct the sputtering problem with this thing. And number three, uh, kudos to all you artists that use these things and do such magnificent work. It's, it's pretty impressive when you see it, what it takes to do. So let's spray the other side and see what we get. So I've got the second, uh, the back coatings put on these and, uh, there really is no clear cut winner of who's dominant color to put down. The pink, the uh, the fluorescent red seems to be the, the most viable. That is green and behind it. And you can see the green, the pink don't, the red doesn't show in through that green. So, I mean, it, the, the green blocks the pink. I mean, like I said, neither one seems to be the dominant color. And here with the, the purple, the purple one green on the back uh what definitely even though they don't seem to like let each other's colors through they definitely will darken each other although the but the fluorescent red definitely seems to be the best at uh, uh blocking the uh the darkening from its its overcoat so i guess in my case i would probably put the uh the red stripe down first and then just uh paint the green around everything else and right over top of that and just back it with the green the, the purple is going to be going on to a another location it's probably not going to be affected by these overlays of color but uh yeah i was hoping for a more concrete result but not really super clear now the base colors might be a different situation than these fluorescent colors and there's i think there's like three two or three more other colors in the fluorescent pack but uh, I think I do a lot more time with this and spend uh, do a lot more different types of paint jobs to get a better feel for how these uh, colors match and how they overcoat each other. That's always the trickiest part. But then again, does it really matter? It's a vehicle that's going to be rolled over into trees and smashed into things. So does it really matter if it's got a nice paint job? Probably not, but I'd put one on anyhow. So the next step is going to be to figure out for sure what I want to do with this paint sequence and then start spraying, clean the bodies and her body panels and then spray them. And then of course scratch them. So that's the end of part two.